Splatter's Fractal Understanding patterns in nature through chaos and self-similarity In the study of natural and artistic forms, a recurring question arises. Are splatters fractal? The answer is nuanced. Splatters can be fractal, but not all splatters inherently are. The distinction lies in understanding the principles behind fractals and the processes that generate splatter-like patterns. A fractal is a pattern that exhibits self-similarity across scales, meaning that its structure repeats in a similar way, regardless of the level of magnification. Classic mathematical fractals, such as the Mandelbrot set, show infinite complexity through recursive rules, and in the physical world, fractal patterns typically display statistical self-similarity. They also tend to have non-integer dimensions, measurable using tools like box counting, which quantifies how detail in a pattern changes with scale. In contrast, a splatter is generally a product of a dynamic, often chaotic event, such as the impact of a fluid on a surface. The result is an irregular, seemingly random dispersion of material, which may include radial bursts, tendrils, blobs, or sprays. Despite their chaotic origins, some splatters exhibit structures that are self-similar or branching, and under certain conditions, may display fractal characteristics. One of the most notable intersections of splatter and fractal geometry occurs in art, particularly in the work of Jackson Pollock. Studies led by physicist Richard Taylor demonstrated that Pollock's drip paintings contain fractal dimensions and scale-invariant structures, likely due to the controlled but chaotic way in which he applied paint. In physics and biology, certain high-speed impacts, such as blood or paint splatters, form radial patterns with branching filaments that resemble fractal geometries especially when influenced by fluid dynamics and surface tension. Additionally, natural splatters, such as mud splashes, fungal spore dispersal, or raindrop impact craters, may sometimes produce structures that are fractal in appearance, depending on the complexity and repetition involved in their formation. To determine whether a splatter is truly fractal, scientists often rely on quantitative analysis. Techniques such as box counting, image analysis software, and comparison of structural repetition across different scales help identify whether a splatter exhibits measurable self-similarity. However, it's important to note that visual complexity alone doesn't equate to fractality. A splatter may appear intricate or chaotic without conforming to the mathematical definition of a fractal. When stepping back to consider the broader design of nature, a further distinction arises. Is nature itself more fractal or more splatter-like? The answer points clearly toward fractals. Nature is fundamentally fractal in its architecture, leveraging recursive structures for efficiency, scalability, and adaptability. Fractals appear in trees and roots, vascular systems, river networks, coastlines, mountain ranges, and even in the arrangement of clouds and lightning. These are not just visual patterns, they represent deep, functional systems that use self-similar rules to optimize growth, flow, and structural integrity. Splatters, by contrast, represent the chaotic side of nature. They occur in ephemeral, high-energy events, like volcanic ejecta, mud splashes, or blood sprays. While such events can be visually dramatic and even beautiful, they often lack the recursive order that defines fractal geometry. Splatters tend to reflect moments of disorder or the surface aesthetics of randomness, rather than the underlying logic of natural systems. A powerful illustration of nature's duality between fractal and splatter can be found in volcanic eruptions. Volcanic activity combines both structured and chaotic elements, depending on the phase and part of the eruption. Fractal patterns emerge in lava flow channels, which often mirror the branching geometry of river systems or blood vessels. Similarly, ash clouds may exhibit fractal edges due to turbulent atmospheric dynamics, and volcanic lightning is a direct example of a fractal discharge pattern. At the same time, volcanic eruptions display unmistakably splatter-like characteristics. The explosive ejection of pyroclastic material, lava bombs, and ash creates random, high-velocity dispersals. 
These materials, upon impact, can form splatter patterns analogous to paint or ink. The aftermath of these explosive events, such as the scattered fragments and debris fields, reflects the disorderly, energetic nature of splatter phenomena. Thus, volcanoes exemplify a hybrid system, where fractal structures represent process and organization, and splatters represent release and disruption. In conclusion, while not all splatters are fractal, some can be, especially when produced by natural processes that contain recursive or scale-invariant dynamics. Nature, in its essence, favors fractal organization, not because of aesthetics, but because fractal logic provides efficient, scalable solutions to complex problems. Splatters, on the other hand, are snapshots of chaos, moments when energy overwhelms structure. The interplay between these two forms of complexity, fractals as structure, splatters as event, offers a rich lens through which to view the dynamic patterns of the natural world.